Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are quickly going to look at the ZTE MF253. This is the router that I got from Vodacom. You can use this router with a SIM card. I will be using a Telcom SIM card to Telco to set it up. Or you can use it with as a WAN port or a LAN extender, sort of like a Wi-Fi extender. But you will need to use the cable from the main router to this one. Then you can use it as an extender. Unfortunately, if you check on this router, there is no sticker underneath that shows the, the default IP address and the default username or password. Unlike other routers like a TP, TP router, TP link, or a Huawei that shows the default access. So this one you have to check, but I'll show you how it's how we can get it. This one also you've got the default IP address 192.168 and then the using the password to log into the router but don't worry i'll show you how it's done and we can log into the router now if you were given the router by someone else and you don't know the wi-fi password or you just want to start it from scratch you want to set it up from scratch you can quickly press the reset button at the back this the bottom button and then if you press the reset button the lights should go off the signal one will go white and then you can let go then it will reboot all the lights will go off and then it will start again once it rebooted it will go back to this password at the bottom of the router then you can quickly go to your laptop and search for wi-fi or a cell phone search for wi-fi and log in using this password which is underneath the router let's just wait for it to come back and then we'll continue on the laptop now Now the rotor is back on, so we are getting signal. We've got a, a green light, a blue light. Blue light means that we are getting LTE. If it's a green light, we will be getting 3G signal. So if you're getting a red light, just now check your SIM card if it's inserted correctly or if it's your active or if it's registering on the network. Otherwise, contact your service provider. So now, once the device is back online, you need to go to your Wi-Fi settings and look for the device. You will enter the password which is underneath the device and then you hit next we are connected so the default ip address for this router it is 192.168.0.1 so if this 192.168 is not working, you can quickly go to start and then search for CMD, press enter, and then type in IP config. It will show you the default IP address just in case if it's not using the 192.168.0.1. Maybe it's using 192.168.8.1 or a different IP address. But still, if you've used this IP address and then still you don't get this page, you're getting an error to say no internet connection, please check if your DHCP is enabled. To do that, you need to go to control panel and look for network and internet, internet sharing. Then you go to properties. Then if it's ticked here, you will not be able to access the website so make sure that it's on obtain ip address automatically then you will be able to access the web page now the login password it is admin small letters which is admin let's just type it in admin small letters so we are currently connected to the internet for sure we've got internet con connection going on our current mode is on wireless broadband. It means that it's using the SIM card now. Let's just test if we got internet. We can just go to fast.com. We do have internet. Internet is working. But in case you don't have internet connection, you need to go to settings. And then under network settings, you look for APN. You can create an APN. But by default, these routers, they are working. I've tried with the MTN and Celsius SIM card. This is a telecom SIM card already. And it's connecting so you'll go to manual add new add new we can just say test and then 
APN, we can make it internet in small letters. Then you hit apply. Then you go back to manual and select the one that you've just created and then click apply. Then you test again for internet on any you can open on your browser. But if your internet is working already and you want to change the Wi-Fi name of the router, you quickly go to settings. Oh, this is where you've got your LTE, your signal type LTE, and then the signal bus, and then the connection status. You'll go to Wi-Fi settings, and then here, that's where you can change the name. I'll just call it TurboZ, and then the password, we can make it 1234512345678. Let me just see. Yes, I made a mistake, so 8. So maximum station number, it is the people that you want to con you want them to connect at the same time. So if you say three people, only three people can connect at the same time. If you've got a fourth person and then they need to connect, you'll have to disconnect one device so that the other person can connect. Or you log in and increase the number. So we can just make it to seven right now. And then we click apply. It's going to disconnect us on the network. It will come back with a new name that we've just created. Let's just wait for it to load. It will come back soon, shortly. There it is, Rosie. Then you click on connect. It will ask for the password that you've just entered. Come on now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are connected. Let me just refresh the page. Okay, sharp. We are back now. If you want to change the IP address, you remember in the beginning we spoke about the 192.168.0.1, and you want to change it. Maybe you've got some setup going on. You will need to go back to home first. Then click on disconnect. Go to settings. Back to router settings. Then you can change it to any IP address that you want. I'm just going to make it dot two dot one. I've got a reason. So there you will have to change the pool. The pool is the devices that are going to connect which IP address they're going to start at. Like this laptop currently, it is on 100. So it's the first one. If I connect another device, it will say 101, 102, 103, like that, like that. So I'll just make it two here also. And two. Then it will disconnect me. Are you sure? Yes. So now when we log in again, we need to go to this website now, 192.168.2.1. There we are, it's good, we are reconnected now. admin small letters to login if you want to change that to login password you can click on settings and then you go to device settings and then under account management you will have to type in the current password which is admin and then you type in your new password the new password and then hit apply when you log in it will ask for the new password that you've just entered now here if you want to reset the router Maybe let's say after setting up the router, you've put the router in the cabinet somewhere far. You can just quickly log into the website to the router via the IP address 192.168.2.1. Once you're in, you go to device settings and then reset the device. Once you reset, it will go back to default settings like the default Wi-Fi password and the default password, login password. But today we're not going to do that, but that's how you can do it or you can quickly go go on the ladder and then get the press the button at the back of the router mm -hmm. now to change the current mode you just need to click on change 
so you've got this option bridge the bridge one is when you've got a let's say fiber router with the fiber router you can just connect the WAN pad the, the LAN cable from the main router to the this to this router and then it will work as a wi-fi extender via the cable if you select cable broadband it's when you can want to use this router as a main but let's just click click on it and then i'll show you once it's back again so what is when once it's back on you'll just go back to settings and then now you can get that triple poe login page with the triple poe you enter your details from the service provider whoever you're using for your fiber then you click you can make it auto apply if you want to use it as an extender again from the cable to cable you can select dhcp apply thank you for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe thank you